Joe Wall joins us, uh, Nottingham Forest captain. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Yeah, Tim Howard, Robbie Earl, Robbie Muster, Hi, we appreciate captain, your Joe. time. Hi. Joe, we just spoke to your manager um, about the performance tonight. He wasn't too disappointed. He said he was more frustrated that, about the way those goals in the first half went in. Is that sort of the feeling in the dressing room amongst the players? Yeah, correct. I think we shot ourselves in the foot. Um, if that goal goes in with Yates in stands, I think it's a totally different game. Don't get me wrong, it's tough. United are a great side and to come to Old Trafford, it's been a long time since Forrest have been here, so um, yeah, backs up against the wall. Um, but I think we're still in, in the game at some, some points, it just those fine margins and you get punished uh, at places like this. Yeah, Tim. We asked your manager about all the new players coming in and as a leader of the group, how difficult is it, or, or what are some of the things that you do to galvanize a group of, of, of players who have come from all over, who are new to the football club? How do you how do you integrate them into that? Yeah, look, there's been a massive overhaul in the summer, um, and the January transfer window is around the corner, and we'll see what that brings. But I don't think um, it's too difficult. Players move all the time in different windows, but like you say, 22 players, 23 players, it is, it's, uh, it's. It's going to take time for the team to gel um, under no illusions that we're, going to, we're not going to be ripping up trees this season. It's more gel, um, find our feet and, and stay in the division. That's, that's always been the aim. Um, whether we, we get asked that um, every single time we stand in front of the camera, the answer stays the same. It's uh, very much solidify the league position and, and hopefully be in the Premier League this time next season. You probably get this question as well all the time. But <laughs> <laughs> just in terms of on the field, like with the changes and the different systems and the different players coming in, that's got to be difficult as well, like to get a, a rhythm or to get, you know, familiarity with fullbacks and midfield players. Is that difficult to, to try and get, get over? Yeah, definitely. But look, we're professional football players. We're paid to play whatever position, whatever formation the manager wants to do. He's... It's nice to be in a groove team, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But... Like you say, it's, it is difficult, but at the same time, if Yates' goal goes in, you don't know what can happen on days like this. I think we've had a bit of a fairy tale run into uh, getting this, get this division, mm. and we're going to need one to, to stay in it, but we've got more than enough talent, more than enough backing from the manager. The owner's been fantastic. Um, I keep saying, up and on, with, we're under no illusions, it's going to be difficult, but... That's what we're here for. Um, we enjoy nights like this, coming and playing in front of 75,000, and it's a dream come true to, to be in the Premier League. A lot of fans have travelled up and down the country for many years and, and seen us in League One and the Championship for God knows how long. So to be back is, is fantastic, but at the same time, that goal goes in, Jono's chance. Could be, could be a different um, different script, but it wasn't to be. We dust ourselves down and yeah. look forward to the Chelsea game at home. You talked about the fairy tale of getting to the Premier League. I'm just interested. Give us one thing that surprised you about the Premier League that, that you, you've you've come into. Um, one thing that hasn't surprised me is the our support, um, okay. home and away. I mean, today you, you hear them; they're, they're fantastic. One thing, just the, the sharpness of the game. I think you, you make all the time. It's cliche. You make a mistake in this league, you get punished, and that happened for the third goal. Really, Dennis gives the ball away, bang, they're in, goal. I think um, if you're going to keep clean sheets here and, and get results, your goal is going to have to have a world in. Wayne, to be fair to him, uh, made some good saves and kept the scoreline down, but we're far too open for, for the third goal. And the first goal, obviously, is set piece. We shoot ourselves in the foot and, and they score and it gives them a leg up. So you've got to be near on perfect at Old Trafford to, to come away with something and we weren't. One other thing that's different is how many interviews you have to do. So Correct. we appreciate it. Thank you so much, yeah. Joe. Nice Nottingham Forest Captain Joe nice Worrell. Really appreciate nice it. Thank you for joining us live nice on you. NBC nice to America. Thank you so much to Joe Worrell. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. For even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you over there.